Hi, I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm Madge. Uh, we're building a manual catapult. And the supplies you'll need is two one foot long, three by three fourths square f inch wood, uh, one ten inch, one that is ten inches long, and five that are five inches long. You're gonna need a scrap piece of wood that we're gonna eventually cut in half for support. And then we'll use two because there's gonna be different. Um, wood glue for support and electrical staples that we'll show you later in our video. Oh, um, we need string for the uh, torsion part of the catapult. And then we also might use a hammer to to nail the uh, to nail the nails. Oh. And then we also will use a 20 foot Stanley power lock measuring tape, which will help us make sure our measurements are right. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. First you will need uh, two one foot long wood and two five inches long wood. You're going to take the scrap piece of wood and place it over the assembly like this. And we're actually going to cut it for uh, support. Of the and then we used a red pencil to draw our triangular line where we're going to cut so that way we'll know exactly how much how long and exact the wood will be and that is step number one solid wood <laughs> No, 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 don't crack it, Ryan. Don't crack it. Cut it off. Saw it off. Okay, I'm gonna crack it. Super close. Just. No! Okay, we just finished sawing a whole square. It took about 25 minutes to saw it off. Very tiring. But now we have our pieces in triangular shape, red triangles. So right now we will either nail it or glue, use wood glue to make sure it is compact and used as the base of the catapult. So we just got done nailing these triangular support beams into our uh, base, so we're ready to put it together. So first you'll need 
one five inch long block and you'll put it under the two and then next you'll need another five inch and put it under the two one foot long uh, wood. Uh, so we're gonna nail them in and that's our base. Go. As we showed you previously in our other step, we nailed we used four nails to nail the corners of each side to make sure they were both both sturdy. So we put the five inch long wood piece under each side and then we tightly enforce it using the nails. And our next step we shall use the five inch our last five inch block and uh, nail it over here so that way when the caliper goes up, it's used as a block mechanism. It's very good so far. Very good. So the caliper will essentially be over here somewhere and just jump up. It's not motion. And it's looking good so far. Pretty good. You should be going through already. You feel it? Do you feel it going Finish in about 10 seconds. Okay, so our, our most recent step was we drilled a hole in over, over here and here, back here and back here so we can put the strings through it. Um, the swing of the catapult is going to be sh um, strung with the string over here and it's going to have a um, action like this. And we shall be using a figure eight way of stringing, which goes like this. And this is the type of string we'll be using for our, for our stuff. But then you get extra credit, right? You should do it. For our most recent step, we twisted the tension for the catapult spring. As you can see, we used figure eight motions in order to make it the tension really tight and gives it a really good pull to shoot it. And to show how it's been done, let's take a look. Success. So this part is a torsion where the um, string has been strung. Um, we put a little foam cushion over here to um, absorb the shock. Um, we uh, rope the spoon, plastic spoon, for our um, launch pad. And this piece of coat hanger will go through the electrical staples like that. So it keeps back the spoon, and when you pull it, bam. So this is our finished product, and this is the mangano catapult. And that is it.